Hello, my name is Simon, and welcome to the Retro News Roundup. Let's start this month's episode with the news that Atari has filed a lawsuit against food manufacturer Nestle. The case revolves around an advert which looks just like Atari's breakout game, but with the blocks replaced by Nestle Kit Kats. The ad can't be found anywhere on the internet, and all that I've managed to seek out is this image. Which doesn't make it look like Nestle have much of a leg to stand on, but I'm no lawyer. In any case, it allows me to make this joke. Have a breakout, have a Kit Kat. What? Come on, that was good. Second, Street Fighter 2 on the SNES has bizarrely been given a limited physical re-release by Capcom, but the reproduction cartridges, which cost $100, may set a light and burn you to a crisp. However, that does mean you can experience the feeling of being on the end of one of Ryu's Hadoukens for real. So, you know, horses for courses. To round off this section, something kind of pointless, but also quite cool. Copies of the upcoming Metroid Samus Returns on the 3DS will have a reversible sleeve, which will make it look like a box of the very title it's a remake of. Metroid 2 on the Game Boy. I'll start this month with some Sega stuff mainly because the retro gaming scene this month was hedgehogged by the release of Sonic Mania. A game which remakes some of the stages from the Blue Spiny Mammals classic 2D titles and adds in some new ones of its own, it's safe to say that this is a title that a lot of people went nuts for. It's available on PC, PlayStation 4, Switch and Xbox One. Then Rystar and Golden Axe were released on iOS and Android devices via Sega Forever. Moving on to the Nintendo Switch, which received a stack of arcade archive Neo Geo titles. Aero Fighters 2, The King of Fighters 2000, Magician Lord, Strikers 1945, and Zed Blade. Then the Wii U, yes the Wii U, got some PC Engine titles via its eShop. They were Air Zonk, Bonk 3, Bonk's Big Adventure, Soldier Blade, Ninja Spirit, Victory Run, and Final Soldier. Then there's the PlayStation 4. Via PSN, the console received Patapon Remastered, a remake of Yakuza called Yakuza Kiwami, PS2 classics Jack and Daxter, The Precursor Legacy and Red Faction 2, and finally loads of arcade archive games, namely Super Sidekicks, Aero Fighters 2, Magician Lord, Fatal Fury 3 and Puzzled. Moving on, Mega Man Legacy Collection 2, which includes Mega Man's 7, 8, 9 and 10, was released for the PS4, Xbox One and PC. Then there were a few more bits and pieces, including Res Infinite on Steam, a HD take of Wacky Wheels for iOS devices, and finally Life on Mars, a remake of the MSX2 game for Steam and Android. Just one piece of news for this section, and it's that Hyperkin have released the Smart Boy, which allows you to play Game Boy carts on your smartphone. One will cost you $50. This month's homebrew section is completely dominated by 8-bit computers and consoles. The ZX Spectrum, for example, got four new titles. They are Sinking Feeling, Deep Blue, Circuitry and Terrapins. They're all free to download, apart from Terrapins, which will set you back $1.99. The Speckies arch enemy, the Commodore 64, got three titles in comparison. Beholder 2 is free to download, but Rescuing Orc will cost you 20 euros. Then there's Planet of Golf, with copies of that starting from $3.99, with an ultimate edition of the title setting you back £40. Can you imagine a Planet of Golf by the way? That would pretty much be the Planet of Hell. Then finally, to round off this section, physical copies of NES titles Expedition, Logjammers and Almost Hero have all become available to buy, with prices varying from $40 to $75. Just one game for this segment, and it's for the cancelled Dreamcast adventure Agatha. A playable version of the game apparently exists, and a video of it was released on the Assembler Games forum last month. The build hasn't been released for everyone to play it yet, but fingers crossed it will be in the near future. Five English fan translations this month, four of which are for NES titles. This quartet includes Black Bass, Empire City 1931, Spontaneous Musician and George Takoro's Offence and Defence. Then to round off this section, 
there was the brilliantly named PC-98 game The Super Dimension Fortress Macross, Skull Leader Complete Pack. That's all for this month, but thanks so much for watching. You can check out a playlist of all the sweet music used in this episode by clicking on the box on the right, and my vlog about this channel on the left. Bye for now. You should not bark up the wrong tree.